Hello everyone, if you are running an e-commerce business and you want to track sales record such as product name, quantity, size and other details then creating an order form in Excel is the best option for you. It can be also used for maintaining office supplies, customized products, service records and catering services. So this is Jiha Jianjim from Excel Demi and today we will learn several steps on how to create an order form in Excel. Before going into the steps, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have a sample of an order form. We want to create an order form similar to this by using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. To create an order form, we need the help of list of customers and list of products in the customer worksheet and product worksheet. At first, we'll go for the customer worksheet and here we have customer name, street, city and province. We need the help of the customer name. So we'll select B5 to B8 cell and we need to make them a name range. So we'll go for the name box and here we'll type the name of the name range here. We'll type the name as customer list. Press the enter button to get the list here. You need to remember that while naming the name range, you cannot use any spaces or you can only use the symbols like forward slashes, underscores or dots. You cannot use any other symbols while writing the name range. Now select the B4 to E8 cells. Go for the name box again and now this time you write down the name range as customer lookup. Now press the enter button and you have two name ranges. Let's see whether the name ranges are working or not. Go for the formulas tab in the define names, go for name manager and here you will see that the customer list has reference of B5 to B8 and the customer lookup has the range of B4 to E8. So the name range is working perfectly. Now we'll go for the product worksheet and again we'll create name ranges here. So we'll select the product names in the B5 to B9 cells. Go for the name box again and this time the name will be product list. Press the enter button to create the name range here. Then select the whole data area and go for the name box again and this time the name range will be product lookup. Press the enter button and let's see whether everything is working perfectly or not. Then go for the formulas tab again in the defined names. Go for the name manager. You'll see you have got all the name ranges here. Now let's jump into the order form worksheet where we have already formatted our criterias, order form, ship to, the headings, product, price, quantity, total and we have also the grand total. To learn about formatting, follow our detailed video on how to format cells in Excel. The link is given below in the description box or you can click on the card at the right corner of the video. At first, let's go for the C4 cell to enter today's date. So we'll write down the today function which returns the current date formatted as a date. Let's press the enter button to get the current date here. Now in the C5 cell, we need to insert the customer list. And to do that, we'll select the C5 cell and go for the data tab, go for data tools and choose the data validation to open data validation dialog box. Now, as we're trying to get a list, so we'll select list in the allow section. In the source, we'll select the customer list of B5 to B8. Also, you can see that we have already named as customer list. So you can directly write it down here. Press OK and you will see you have got the drop down list. Select the drop down list according to your wish. Next, we need to also get the customer details here like street, city and province. So we'll go for the C6 cell and insert the formula here. Now we'll start the formula with the if function which will check whether a condition is met or not and returns one value if true and another if false. Now we'll move on to the three criterias which has logical test value if true and value if false. At first in the logical test section we'll go for the C5 is equal to the empty cell or not and if it is true that means the value if true then it will return a blank cell but the value if false 
that means if the condition was not met then it will go for the VLOOKUP function. The VLOOKUP function looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. Now in this portion we'll go for the criteria for lookup value. The lookup value will be C5 here as we're trying to search it here. Now the search area of the table array will be the customer lookup as we have already defined it so if you write it down then you will see excel is already suggesting it now double click to select it as table array now here you will see that there is a column index number now if it finds any kind of match with the c5 then it will show the second column as the return value so i'll select the second as our column index number which i'll also explain later and then you will go for the exact match so I'll select false now press the enter button and you will see you have got the result here. Let's check it out whether it's working or not. Let's go for the customer list. Here you will see that here is Volvo in the column B and if it finds any kind of match then it will be the first column then the street will be second the city will be third and the province will be fourth as we have called the second column index number so it has returned the value of the second column street and Volvo has shown the second column 32 Obama point so we have got the result here now we need to do the same for the province and city also so I'll copy the formula by using in control plus C now go for the C7 cell and paste it down but this time we need to get the value of the third column so we'll change the column index number from 2 to 3 and press the enter button after that we'll go for again C8 cell and insert the same formula by using control plus V and now we'll go for the column index number again as we're trying to get the fourth column as our return value so we'll change it to 2 to 4 and press the enter button so now we have got everything from the customer list now you can also match it down you'll see customer name street city and province everything is just correctly like this now we need to add the product list price quantity and the total values so we'll go for the b11 cell and create a drop down list for the product so we'll go for the data tab and in the data tools you'll select data validation to open data validation dialog box now in the allow section we'll go for the list and in the source we'll go for the product list as we have already defined it as a name range so write down product list press ok and you'll see you have created the drop down list here click on the drop down and you'll see you have got the product list select the product according to your wish and then use the same field handle tool to get the result for every cell change them according to your wish for every cell so we have the list of products now we need to also add the price here in the column C so we'll go for the C11 cell and insert the formula with the if function which will check whether a condition is met or not and returns one value if true and another as false then it will go for three criteria: logical test value if true and value if false in the logical test you will search for the B11 is equal to an empty cell or not and value if true that means the condition is fulfilled then it will be showing an empty cell but if it is false that means the condition isn't met then it will go for the searching of the name of the VLOOKUP function VLOOKUP function looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify now in this portion you will go for the lookup value the lookup value will be the B11 cell then the table array will be the product lookup so we have already created the name range as product lookup if you write it down excel is already suggesting it double click to select it as table array as we are trying to get the second column as column index number so write down 2 and after that we are trying to get the exact match so we'll select false press the enter button to get the result here now use the field handle tool to get the same price for every cell of the column c now change the format to currency so select the c11 to c15 cells go for the home tab and in the number go for the currency and select the currency here now 
you need to also define the quantity in this section the motorcycle quantity will be 3 the television will be 2 the washing machine 1 and electric oven is 3 and refrigeration is 6 but we need to get the total price we'll go for the e11 cell and insert the price c11 and then multiply it with the quantity that means d11 press the enter button to get the total price now use the fill handle tool to get the total price of every cell of the column e now to get the grand total you need to use the sum function the sum function adds all the numbers in a range of cells now we'll go for the e11 to e15 cells and press the enter button to get the grand total so we have got the order list for volvo but this time let's change it down and see whether it's working or not let's change volvo to thermal master and it has changed the province city and the street but we need to also change the product manually so i'll select the product column and the quantity column and delete them and then we need to insert the new product list here now you need to insert the quantity also so go for washing machine 3 electric oven 2 quantity 4 motorcycles 1 motorcycle and again washing machine 5 press the enter button and you will get the perfect result here also so your order form is perfectly ready to use so that's it for today you can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com or join our thriving academic community forum where you can post your excel and vba challenges to get solutions from our experts and fellow users thanks for watching our video if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this